Hi, hi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Very fine. Yeah, excellent. Nice to hear that. Friday, right? A day that we were waiting for. See, <clears throat> it's eight o'clock. Let's see how many. Okay, we are eight people here. I'm going to call you. Please tell me present as I call you. Okay, Carlos Alfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Cecilia del Carmen. Present teacher. Larixa. Claudia Ivon. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo. Present teacher. Erika Joana. Erika Joana. <coughs> Isaías. Iván del Cid. Okay. Iván del Cid. Ivette del Cid. Ivette Elvira, dale, cambia el nombre, Ivette. Presente, <laughs> Ivette del Cid, le voy a decir. Ok, Jonathan Asdrubal. Presente, teacher. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, no. Juan Antonio. Presente, teacher. Karen Leticia. Karen Karen. Luis Enrique. Teacher, Jorge Alberto, present. Ok, Jorge. <coughs> Karen Leticia. Luis Enrique. Manuel. Rosibel. Present, Manuel. Sí, Miss. Okay. Rosibel. Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra Elizabeth, no hay. Silvia Estela. Silvia. Silvia Inés. Okay. Anybody entered after I call you? No. Okay. Well, uh, welcome to our class number. A ver, what number? What number? Mm hmm. What number is this class? 12. 12, exactly. This is our class number 12. 12. And today is May the 5th, right? May the 5th. Okay. Um, this is the, the, the topic for today, how to use present perfect. So that's what we are going to be using today, right? Remember, we continue talking about issues, 
But this time we're going to uh, talk about the issues that, that we may have in related to machinery <coughs> that we use in our workplace. And we are also going to use the present perfect. Now check the objective by the end of the class participants will be able to use the present perfect. And today I'm retaking a couple of questions that we were discussing yesterday. One, how often do you have problems with your computer? Remember, uh, yesterday we were saying that one of the machines that we most or well, that most of us say, in other words, that most of us use is the computer, right? That we don't use any other type of machine, but a computer. That's the one that is mostly used by you, right? Okay, who is, and the other question is, who is in charge of checking on when there is a problem? A ver, just refreshing. <clears throat> just refreshing uh, what we were talking about yesterday. How often? How often do you have problems with your computer? How often? Uh -huh. How often do you have problems with your computer? Good evening. No, good evening. How often I, do you, hey, I, rarely. you rarely have problems with your computer? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about the others? How often? How often do you have problems with your computer? <coughs> mm -hmm. Wi-Fi. Okay. You have problems with the Wi-Fi. Okay, <coughs> but how often does it happen? Every day, every week, once a week, twice a week, almost never, almost always, sometimes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> how often? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. And check the other question. Who is in charge of checking on when there is a problem? Who is in charge? Uh-huh. Tell me. The technician of the technician inform, um, support. How do you say informatica? Computing. Inform, informatica. Computer system. System. Computing. Computing. The computing department. Thank you. The computing IT. department. Mm -hmm. the, the, IT. IT. the IT department. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Another for everybody is the IT department, right? How often do they check on the computers? How often? How often? Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know. Uh. Is it like a routine for them to check your computer often? Yes or no? Oh, no. How? Okay. Uh, okay. It's Mm -hmm. You tell me that the IT department is in charge of on checking, of checking the, the 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 computers, right? 
How often do they check it? Uh, teacher. My computer is on sister in general checks the information. But how often do they do that? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How often do they give a check? So is it a routine? Or it's just when the computer is not working well only. Or so they say, okay, we have to give a check to the equipment every week. So it doesn't matter if right now it seems that everything is okay, that we will give a check. Or so they check on the equipment only when it is failing. Mm -hmm. That's my question. Do they check on the equipment only when the equipment is failing? Or is it a routine for them to check it all the time? ¿Me entienden la pregunta? In my case, only when I report okay. a problem with the computer. If no, no. No. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the problem, right? Normally is normally is for request teacher. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. It should be a routine. It should be a routine. So we don't have problems with the equipment, right? But but unfortunately, mm -hmm, that that's that's the thing. Okay. Well, remember. Yesterday, we were talking about these phrases, right? These phrases that we use when we describe the uh, issues. You have, I'll have a look at it. I need to speed things up. It doesn't work properly. Check the brushes once a fortnight. It makes a strange noise. I have to extend the chart. I need to open. A minor fault. These are phrases that we will continue. We will continue using, right? Now look at the conversation. Remember today, we are using the present perfect to talk about the issues or to talk about the problems that we may have with the equipment. Okay, let's read it. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. Hmm, that's too bad. How about the connection? Um, have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, they have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, now you repeat after me. What's wrong with the computer, George? What's wrong, What's with, the wrong computer, with the computer, George? George? Hello, Luke. Hello, Hello Luke. Luke. Well, I don't know. Well, well I, I don't know. know. I have checked it everywhere and, I, and it won't turn on. I have checked, I have it, checked everywhere it in everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. That's, too, That's bad. too bad. How about the connection? How about the connection? How about the connection? How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have you checked, Have you all, checked the all the cables are plugged? 
Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. And Mario, the and technician, Mario, the technician has, checked has checked it, checked it too. too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. We have, we have not verified, verified the, rest the rest of, of the computers. Computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Anna. Anna has, Anna has had, had the same problem with her kidney. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah I, heard, I that. heard that. Has the equip has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Has, has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. No, they, no, haven't. they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. My boss sends, my boss sends, sends them, 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 every them a memo every week. week. I see. I, I see. see. By the way, the technician is coming. By the way, By the, way the technician is coming. coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Great. Great. I, I hope, hope he can, can fix this problem. Can fix the problem. Okay. Now, do you have any questions here about vocabulary or pronunciation? Mm -hmm. All the cables are plugged. Okay. Plugged. 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 All the cables are plugged. And all the, the cables are, are plugged. plugged. Upload. Another one? Thank you, teacher. Okay. That's plugged. Another question? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Remember, maintenance. Teacher. Maintenance. Yeah, Cecilia? ¿Qué significa plugged? Plugged. Están conectados. ¿Y se pronuncia? Plugged. 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 No plugged, ¿verdad? Sino que plugged. La E no. porque no estuviera, porque fuera mudo. Plugged. Uh -huh. Plugged. Technician. 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 Checked. Checked. Verified. Verified. Replaced. Replaced. Checked. Verified. Replaced. Connection. Connection. <laughs> Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Any other question here? Mm -hmm. No question. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you have a couple of exercises here, the other sentences. You're going to circle the words to complete the statements here, right? And before we go to that, you're going to work with your partners and practice the conversation. Let me see. I'm going to send you there in groups for you to make a practice, practice the conversation. Mm -hmm. I have four, four, four. Perfect. There we go. Join. Join, join and practice the conversation in your mind now, please. Page 31 in your mind now. Let's join. Join, join.
Rosie, try, try to join. Hello. 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 Estoy buscando la conversación. 31. Page 31. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Page 31. 31. 31. Ahorita. Va buscando la página 31. 31. Did you find the page? Ahorita mis ahorita. No he llegado. Y que no me haya ingresado todavía el módulo. Uh -huh. Pero ya casi, ya casi. Ya. ¿Y los demás? ¿Cómo están por ahí? Ay, sí. Very one. Very... Okay. 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 Ahora intercambiamos si quieres. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it, check it everywhere and it won't turn on. That, that's too bad. How, how about the connection? Have you checked it? all the cable are clear? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it Two, we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with the health equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Was the maintenance team replaced the battery? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Vamos, Rosy. Okay. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello. Look, well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't do wrong. That's too bad. How about the connection? I have to check if all the cables are the plugged. Yes, yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not perfect the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her Equipment. equipment. Yeah, I had that. Has the maintenance. He replaced the battery. But, what's no. the battery? The battery. 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 Yeah. No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. What do you need? 
and easy. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it. I checked it everywhere. And this one thrown on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked it the all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And my technician has checked it. I checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the has the maintenance team replaced the battery? Battery? The battery. The battery? No, they haven't. My boss sent the memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope they can fix the problem. This problem. Mm -hmm. okay. We answered the sentences, the exercise three. Yes. Uh -huh, you go over the sentences and choose the correct answer, right? Yes. The first is... The fear is how they check out the system. How or has? Have, have. For have, with are they? Uh -huh. I have sorry. Oh. How to check uh, the system? Okay. Yes, have. Esto es la, la, la número dos. Mary uh, has. Mary has. Mary has. Mary has had the same problem with her computer. Has. 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 Ascent. Send. Send. Has sent. Has sent a letter to the ATO permit. Sen, the diaver. Sen, sen, yes, sen. What else we have to Yes, only that. Is the if you prefer, 
we practice again the, the conversation. Teacher. Amen. Eh, ¿Verdad que es Monday nights? Maintenance. 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 Ah, maintenance. Ah, bueno, maintenance. 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 Ajá. Maintenance. ¿Cuál otra era, Silvia? Eh, la otra que me costó a mí, pronunciation, is the. Quiero ver. Maintenance. Replace the battery. Battery. Eh, no, they haven't. Haven't. My boss in the a memo ever with. I send by the way the technic technician is coming. Great. I hope the, I hope he can fit this problem. No, es nada más en lo, lo que en lo que sentía problema. Okay. Gracias. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I didn't understand which was your question. Esa teacher. Uh -huh. What was the question? No, eso no, ahorita no la no no y no completamos las después. Okay. Bad question. Sería I not circle the correct word to complete the sentence. Compare white apart apart. Sería date. Have have date. Check system. Have date. Have, oh, has date. Have 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 sería como primera instancia porque dice have that. Have date. Pero sería have date. Have, have porque, sí, porque están es chequeando. Ajá uh -huh. y have es tiempo pasado. Así Ajá. Es. Entonces, esa sería, ajá. Ah. De ahí la segunda dice, Mary have that the same problem with the computer. Has. Mary has. has. Sí, porque dice que envió, vea. No, Mary has, has. ha tenido el... Has had. Has. has. Have that the same. Mm -hmm. Has had Or, the same problem? Mm? Has sent a letter. Has sent, dice. Ah, no, Sam. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. sent. Uh -huh. Sent, conté. Mm -hmm. Mary has sent a letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 
Ok, vamos a ver, everybody coming. Yes. Hoy sí. Ah, todavía falta un par. <coughs> Everybody back? Yes. Everybody? Yes, I think so. There we go. Okay, so give me the iPad. Oops. Now look at the questions. Um, number one, has they or have they? Have. 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 Have day, right? Have they checked the system? Mary has. 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 Three. Google sent a letter to the HT department. Oh, has sent a letter to IT department. Yes. Great. Any question here? Any question? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. 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 Check. When we talk about, when we use the present perfect, we have to use have or has, right? Depending on the subject that we're using and the verb in the past participle. So you say seen, see, seen, be, been, it, eaten, take, taken, have, had, have, had, Meet, met, read, read, watch, watched, do, done, and write, written. If you say most of the verbs there are irregular, right? And when we use irreg uh, when we using irregular sentences or irregular verbs, sorry, in our sentences, the verb changes and changes completely. But when I'm using verbs that are regular, you notice the past simple and the past participle is exactly the same. So you have like, liked, liked, cook, cooked, and cooked. You only add the D, right? Or D, if it finishes in E. And, ended, ended. Travel, traveled, traveled. Moved, moved, moved. Yes. So, if 
just remember, remember, it is very important for you to memorize the verbs in the past participle. I know it's not easy, right? Uh, because there are a lot of verbs, but it is very important that you know what is the past and what is the past participle of the verb. And why am I showing you this? Because um, if we do some sentences where we're using a regular verb, you will see no difference. This is like the first one or the line number one, the line number two, and the line number three. But the line number three and line number two is exactly the same when we are using regular verbs. But it's not the same when we are using irregular verbs. Right, so you say, see, saw, sing. Be, was, were, been. Eat, ate, eaten. Had, had, had. It's, some of them are the same, but it's not like a rule, right? Like in the case of, of regular ones. Uh, meet, met, met. Read, read, read. Watch, that is there, but it's, it's regular. Had a do done, do the done. Great what written. So if we're talking about regular verbs, the past simple and the past participle changes most of the time. I say most of the time because I cannot say all always. I cannot say always changes because we have the case of had had met met read red, red, right, that are, that are the same. Uh, cut, 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 cast, cast, cast. There are a couple of verbs where the past is exactly the same as the past participle, but in most of the cases, the verb finishes. Now, <clears throat> that's one thing. And remember, you have to memorize present, past, 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 right? To be able to work with the different things. Now, check these examples. If I use, remember I told you with the present perfect, we have to use have, right? So you say we. If we use we, we say have. We have taken a boat tour, right? We have taken a boat tour along the river. We have been on top of the London Eye. We have been on top. We have had dinner in Chinatown. We have been to Madame Tussauds. We have been. So I'm using have or has, depending on the subject, and the verb in the past participle, right? So check the structure. We use, uh, for the present perfect, Remember here, we said we use it to talk about experience. In this case, we're talking about things that we have done in the past that now are part of our personal experiences. Now, with this, use present perfect to talk about unfinished actions, right? Unfinished. So remember, a part of using it to talk about things that we have done up to now, we also use it to talk about things or actions that are not finished yet. For example, when you say, I have studied English for English Corporativo for four months and a half, right? I have studied English. I have studied English for five months and a half, or for four months and a half. I have lived in the same house for ooh, 20 years, right? So I have lived in the same house. So if I'm talking about unfinished actions, I'm going to use this. That means something that you started doing in the past, but it continues to the present. 
Mm -hmm. So we're talking about things that started in the past, but at the moment of the present, they are true. Like when you say, well, I have, um, I have learned English. I can see the results now, right? I have eaten mm, dinner. I have the results now, right? Because now I'm not hungry. Because you were eating before. Now check. You use the verbs in the part in the participle form, and the auxiliary has for the third person singular. And what do we use for the rest of the pronouns? Mm -hmm. What do we use for the rest of the pronouns? For third person, we use has. Oh. Has, exactly. For we, you, they, we use. Has. Yes? Okay, so third person, remember he, she, it. So for he, she, it, I'm going to use has. But for I, you, we, they, I'm going to use has. Now, what's the structure? We have a subject, we have the auxiliary, have or has, depending on the subject. And remember the verb in past participle. Remember we said that past participle is the verb on the third line, right? On the third column. When you check, when you find, in internet you can find a lot of lists, right? So when you go for a list, when you go for a list, you can have the verb in the past parties. And of course, later on, you have a complement, right? Look at the example. I have checked the reports. They have not replaced the battery. But you can also say they haven't, right? They haven't replaced the battery. She has explained her situation. That team has not had that kind of problem. Or, using the contraction, the team hasn't had that kind of problem. Any question here? Mm -hmm. No. No. That's refreshing. Remember, we said we use the present perfect to talk about general experiences. Hey, I have seen it. Hmm, I have been there. I have taken it. I have held it. So now I know. Now I remember because I have seen it. I have seen it. I have been there, now I know the place. I have eaten, now I'm not hungry, right? I have had it, now I know. So I'm talking about general experience, okay? General experience. Now. Teacher, sorry. No. Estamos como hablando de la contracción, they have. Ah, yes. Yes. Ah, thank you. Sí. You can say, I've. She's. Fíjense que cuando ocupan, en el caso de aquí, eh, fácil de reconocer, pero cuando ocupan, por ejemplo, she's. You have to be very careful. If that is is the contraction of the verb to be, or if it is the contraction of has, right? So you have to be very careful. Let me 
va. So we say, chis is the contraction of she has. So if you see, for example, that you had, she has eaten. Si usted ve que el, que el verbo, que hay un verbo, ¿verdad? Después, no un noun. Si usted ve que hay un verbo y el verbo está así en la, ter en la tercera forma, ¿verdad? Que es el pas parece que ese, ese contraction es de has. Pero si usted ve que eh, allí después de esa contraction ve un adjetivo, un lugar o un noun, esa contraction es verbo to be. Okay. So you have to be very careful. What do you see next? What do you see next? Mm -hmm. Any question? No question, teacher. No. Okay, I will hear. Now, talking about general experience, check. I have been to Istanbul. That's that's an experience. How many times? Three. So when you're talking about experience, apart of telling me what you have done, you can tell me the number of times you have done something, right? She has read the little print. Yes, yeah, sir, teacher. Disculpe que interrumpa. Eh, que se les agrega el quiero ver. The number of times that you have done something. Mm -hmm. So you can say, she has read the little prints a few times. So aparte de estar diciendo eh, la experiencia que, o sea, lo que ha experimentado, mejor dicho, que es lo que ha hecho, ¿verdad? Que es lo que ha hecho en su vida. Si usted dice, I have traveled, I have traveled abroad, right? I have traveled abroad. I have eaten sushi. I have learned a new language. Okay, yo tengo esa experiencia. Ahora puedo también decir cuántas veces, right? If you say, I have traveled abroad. ¿Cuántas veces? Mm, I have traveled abroad once. I have eaten sushi. How many times? Oh, many times. Yeah. I have... I have lived in the same house for many years. Entonces, esta expresión de tiempo eh, es como... Para reafirmar, podríamos decir, la experiencia que hemos tenido y cuántas veces se ha tenido esa experiencia. Uh -huh. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Now, check this one. He has watched Trek twice. ¿Cuántas veces? He has watched Trek twice. No decimos two times, decimos twice. Any question here? No, okay. Now your experience. I have exp I have sprained my ankle twice. Oh, in my case. I have sprained my ankle, not twice. Ah, uh, lots of times, <laughs> right? I have sprained my ankle twice. I have broken a bone once. Okay. I uh, have you ever sprained your ankle? It's ginsar, right? 
Have you ever sprained your ankle? You? Yes or no? Aya? No, miss. Aya? <laughs> Never. No. Okay. Uh, only my uh, hand. Oh, I see. But my uncle never. Okay. Wow. Lucky you. Uh, I have sprained my ankle like. For me, yes. About fifteen times, I guess. I I guess both feet. Many times. Okay. Check the answer. Yes, I have. Or you can say no, I haven't. Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten sushi? No, I haven't. No? No, yes, I haven't. I... You haven't? <gasps> really, you have never eaten sushi? No. I don't like it. Oh, you don't like it. Yes, I have. Así I decía, like. Así decía yo que no me gustaba, que 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 But no, it's very good. 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 Have you ever eaten sushi? So you say, yes, I have. Oh, no, I haven't. Let's see. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I have met a famous person. Have you ever met a famous person? Mm? Cheque. Que cuando yo le pregunto su alguna vez. Alguna vez ese verso. Have you ever met a famous person? Hmm? Have you ever met a famous person? Yes, I have. I have. Okay. Yes, I have. O, no se quede calladito y diga, no, I have it. Right? Have you no, ever I met haven't. a famous person? No, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever seen a ghost? Hmm? Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. I haven't. Um, no. Okay. Qué bueno. Okay. I have seen a snake a few times. Bueno. About three, four times in 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 así en vivo y a todo color twice. Yes, I have and the two. On television? No. On television many times. In the zoo. In Huayua Park. In the, but it was not free. Yes, miss. Okay. You take a picture with the No, no, snake. but I mean the animal is free, that it's running, uh, no? No. No, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Manuel says yes. Hasta las he matado. Ay, Manuel, pobrecita. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a child, like, oof, I saw a, I saw snake twice. The first time my mom sent me to to cut some lemons, when I was five, I was very happy going on the tree, and when I went like this to get the the branch that was higher, I saw the snake like like this roll. I saw the snake and I jumped from the tree. It was very high. I jumped from the tree and I was running to to tell the the, the men that were close, right? They say that is a snake on the lemon tree. And yeah, they did what Manuel does. They kill it. It was um I don't remember the type of snake they said it was, but it was it had like brown 
circles. Imagine. So that day I didn't cut lemons. I ran away home. <laughs> the second time I saw snake, I was walking and the snake was running and she passed in the middle. When, when I heard the snake, I just stopped and the snake was crossing, but she was running and, she, and as I stood, she passed by my feet. Imagine, so uh-uh. That's an animal I don't like. And what about you? Have you seen a snake? Manuel says yes. Yes, I have. Yes, you have. I guess everybody in El Salvador has seen a snake. Yeah. So you see? Yes, I have. Oh. No, I haven't. Have you ever met a superhero? <laughs> Have you ever met a superhero? Yes? Or no? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, but you might. Nine superheroes. Spider-Man. Have you ever met a boy dressed up like a Spider-Man? Hmm? Yes? No? Yes, I have. Okay. Okay, okay. Very good. Any questions here? I know this is a very easy structure. One, go to work. Write affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts. You have Mario change the fuse. What has Mario done? He has changed the fuse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to finish and then we'll check. Teacher, a eso se va a hacer individual, donde se escribe las, las oraciones son positivas y negativas, sí. afirmativas y negativas, sí. usando los que los propios. Using the words given. Mm -hmm. Yes, do it individual. No los mando más de tres veces a los rooms porque después me arrepiento cuando el Zoom no se convierte igual. Okay. And I will send you to Zoom. Zoom. For the next activity, you will be working in pairs. So you will do this individually.
¿Qué pidieron de comida? ¿Qué pidieron de comida? ¿Qué pidieron de comida? Let me know when you finish. Thank you. Let me know when you finish. No yet? Yeah. I finish. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss. Okay, number one. What's number one? Uh, Mario, Mario has, has changed, changed. changed the fuse. Okay, Mario mm -hmm. has. Mario has que? Has changed. 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 Changed the fuse. The, the fuse. fuse. Changing the fuse. The fuse. Mm -hmm. Mario has changed the fuse. Number two. The production has not stopped. Mm -hmm. The production has not stopped or hasn't stopped. Number three. Our team has fixed. Fix the equipment. Our team has fixed. Has fixed. Fit the equipment. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Our team has fixed the equipment. Uh, number four. Uh, Jenny has not plugged the, the cords. Mm -hmm. Jenny hasn't plugged the cords. And number five. The, the secretary, secretary has made a note. Has made. Copy. copy. Has made. Has made. Has made. Enough <laughs> copies. Has has no made. Copy. Mm -hmm. The secretary has made enough copies. Number six. The technician has checked. Okay. Connect. Uh -huh. The technician, the technician, the technician has checked, has checked the connector. The connector. Mm -hmm. The technician has checked the connector. Any question? 
No, aquí se me quedó dura, duda, Ticha. ¿En qué exactamente? Vale, supuestamente vamos a usar primero el sujeto, ¿verdad? De ahí, how, o how, de ahí va el, la parte esta, ¿cómo se llama? La, ¿qué? From, from, ¿Mm? y de ahí la, la parte final, si no sé, solo de organizar la producción. Le están dando las palabras que va a usar, por eso dice using the prompts. Ajá, Estas ajá, son las sí, palabras. Sí, sí. Todo lo que va a hacer es escribir la oración usando el present perfect. Ah, vaya, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. A eso se le llama prompts cuando le dan las palabras que exactas que usted va a ocupar. Any other question? El question, teacher, con el, con el verbo se le agrega el ed. Acuérdense que ese, vaya, oigan, acuérdense que les dije que ese verbo va en past participle. ¿En pasado participo? Sí. Uh -huh. Aquí, casualmente, todos los verbos, bueno, no todos, pero la mayoría que pusieron son regulares. Por eso es que usted ve que le agregan ed. Pero en el caso de make es irregular. Entonces, no vamos a decir make it, ¿verdad? Porque no existe el pasado participio de make es made. O sea, y usted tiene que analizar, eh, cuando va a usar esta estructura, tiene que analizar cuál es el pasado participio del verbo que está usando. Ok. Ahí es donde tenía duda. ¿qué era? Ajá, el asunto es que, piense que casualmente las oraciones que han puesto son con verbos regulares. Ustedes recuerden lo que les comentaba. El verbo regular, el pasado simple y el pasado participio es el mismo. Y este verbo make, otra casualidad, que el, que el pasado participio de make es made. El pasado simple de make es made. Entonces aquí no nos ayuda mucho. ¿Verdad? Porque no deja como que si fuera así la, 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 la normalidad, pero no. Acuérdese que el verbo que usted va a ocupar es verbo en pasado participio. Uh -huh. Es el past participio. Entonces, independientemente del verbo que sea, si sea regular o irregular, usted va a poner el past participio. Como los ejemplos que le daba al principio. She has eaten. Have you seen? ¿Verdad? Es el pasado participio. El que vamos a ocupar. Uh -huh. Any other question? Any other question? No question? No. Es... Eh, si, si tienen alguna pregunta me dicen porque van a, a trabajar y van a usar el present perfect ¿verdad? vamos a trabajar en equipos you're going to role play a conversation similar to the one we were reading at the beginning and you're going to talk about issues with some equipment in your workplace right? There are issues with some equipment in your workplace. So you will get, no in pairs, but in groups, and create a conversation. Chequen, porque ayer al final me terminaron haciendo otras cosas y no conversation. You have to create a conversation. Bueno, lo puse ahí en más oscurito. ¿eh? Get, in, get in groups, create a conversation, expressing what the problem is, and what you have done about the problem. See? So remember, we're talking about issues. So think about the issues that you have in your company, issues related to equipment. Create a conversation like the one we had at the beginning, expressing or mentioning the problem, and then uh, say what you have done related to it. 
remember that you will use the present perfect here. Any question? Okay. Okay. Nice, nice. Bueno, let's go. I'm going to send you to groups, new groups. Hoy tengo, mire que galán. Hoy tengo grupos más grandes. Mm -hmm. no. Ready, let's go. Join, join. Remember to use English while discussing English, no Spanish. Join, join. Try to join. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi. Good evening. Hola, hi. Hola. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? Aquí, este, viendo qué se va a hacer de lo que dijo que teníamos que trabajar en grupo. Bueno, las otras chicas están ahí. Ajá. Ay. Ay. ¿Cuántas estamos? Sí, five. Five. Seis. Uh -huh. No, seis. Five, Según entendí, tenemos que hacer una conversación, ¿verdad, Ticha? Sí, sí. Hacer una sobre los equipos del de, 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 de lugar de, de trabajo. Del lugar de trabajo. Y ah. expresar cuál es el problema que tienen. Expresar qué problemas y qué tienen que tener, dice... Es de que definamos cuál es el problema que, del que vamos a hablar para poder empezar. Ajá, el plan. equipo que sí. acaba. First, you have to choose the equipment, right? Then identify the problems and after that, think about what you have to do and put it into control. El problema que está hecho res... Hi, teacher. Hi. Um... I'm sorry, casi no le entendí lo que íbamos a hacer. Íbamos a hacer como una oración. No, a conversation. Conversation. Okay. Yeah, make a conversation. Right, a first thing, think about the, the, the equipment that you use, right? Then check what are the problems that you have. After that, identify what you have done to solve that situation. And once you have that information, put it into a conversation. Because it's a conversation. 
similar uh, to the one that we were uh, reading at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Hey, teacher. Like a page 31, teacher. Uh -huh, exactly, like the conversation. Pero vaya en pasos. First, eh, check what equipment you use. Second, identify the problems with the equipment. Then, okay. think about what you have done to solve that problem. And once you have that information, you put it into the conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could be with a, a computer problem or laptop or Is table. Any, any problem with any equipment that we use? Okay. Isaías. Ivan, do you use iPad or laptop or computer? Or Isaías. Isaías está dormido. Mas si quiere, se dice. Isaiah, hello. Hello. Hi. What do you use in your in your work? What what equipment? Isaiah, hello. Vaya, ahorita vamos a el saludo, va. Un medio saludo ahí. Eh, estamos llegando. Good morning. Uh -huh. Good morning. I have a pro a problem. Mm -hmm. Espérenme. Eh, Sería, espérenme, digamos, así como está aquí, aquí está, what's wrong with the computer, George? Entonces, ahí es como que, que, que uno nos pregunta, oh, aquí dice mal, ¿va? entonces nosotros vamos a poner este, ha, happen, sería así el, 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 el participio. Por eso yo estoy saludando y estoy reportando un problema. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. Good morning. I have uh -huh. a problem. Uh -huh. Usted me responde o cualquiera de ustedes no me responde. Ok. El good morning es solamente así nos diría. Sí. Porque regularmente, para no perder tiempo, cuando uno eh, está, eh, llama o necesita a alguien, yo solo, buenos días. Tengo un problema con tal cosa. Pero para hacerlo más eh, a detalle, solo el saludo primero, después reportar el problema. Entonces, ahí, ahí good morning, Ese sería... El, la misma persona que diría good morning I, I, have, a I problem. have I have a problem
vaya, pero eh, ¿qué problema sería? ¿Cuál sería el problema de la maquinaria, el problema técnico? Que, que podemos... bueno, vaya, oigan, para que no estén así perdidos, primero identifiquen el equipo. Segundo, uh -huh. identifiquen el problema. Tercero, identifiquen qué han hecho para corregirlo y cuando tengan ya eso, redacten la conversación. Para que vayan ya basados en algo. O sea, de que el problema ya tiene que estar en, 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 en proceso. Uh -huh. no, definido. Ah, eh, identificado. Eh, eh, identificado. Eh, ¿Y usted eh, qué eh, ha hecho? Porque por eso estamos usando el present perfect, ¿verdad? ¿Qué ha hecho usted al respecto? Ajá. Uh -huh. Nothing was. Come on, come on, you cannot tell me you have done nothing. Va. Entonces. Ah, pongamos lo de la planta que había dicho. Es que fue, va, y así generalicemos, el problema es que no hay energía eléctrica, entonces toda la planta. Ah. Y, y no hay y no hay eh, una planta de energía eléctrica funcionable también entonces qué es lo que hay que hacer eh, Vaya, no que... hay energía eléctrica y ya la revisamos uh -huh. Bueno, entonces el problema sería una falta de energía. Sí. Sí, eso estamos viendo. Ese es el problema. La solución. Eh, la falta de energía es el problema. Ahí podemos hacer varias cosas. Comunicarnos con, con contabilidad, a ver si pagó la, la factura. Y, o sea, es, es, si nos cortaron la energía eléctrica porque no pagamos, y hay que pagar y, y, y la reconexión. O si hay un corte en la zona, o es un fallo, no sé. Pero, pero, pero está bien, no, no, no lo veo complicado. O sea, si generalizamos con la energía eléctrica, el diálogo fluye solito. Mm -hmm. Vaya, make the list. Try to think in English. Nos quedamos mudos, compañeros. In English, vamos, chicos. You can do it. Entonces sí se haría la conversación completa, ¿sí? ya formal. Vaya, ok, perdón, estaba resolviendo algo ahí personal. Entonces... Eh... ¿Cómo sería? Quiero ver. Veamos el. Me veo, ¿a, quién se llama, ¿A quién se llama María? O sea, por ejemplo, ¿a falta de energía, ¿a quién se llama? Uh -huh. ¿O a quién se llama María primero? Oye, o sea. Bueno, por ejemplo, les voy a dar mi, eh, mi ejemplo. Cuando bueno. me falta energía en la planta, yo lo que hago es reportarlo a. A Ay. Ice, o a Kai. Ajá. Me dan un código de reclamo 
Y ese código de reclamo se lo paso al técnico que nos asesora. Y él hace toda la gestión para, para movilizar. Y ahí vienen los de... De la impresión. Según Yo... mi pensar, ¿verdad? La tinta es muy... ¿Cómo le diría? Eh, do me a favor. Try to speak English. Try Try to speak English. Oh, ok. No, y estamos consultando, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, eh, eso, pero en inglés. Sí, sí, teacher, sí, sí que es en mm. inglés. Vale, miren, hice una modificación, no sé si les parece, como para cambiar un poco. Dice, eh, empezando, este, what's problem? Do you have with the printer? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I restart the printer and it doesn't work. But I but it won't. Mm -hmm. Y en el inicio no era que se iba a poner there is a problem. Ajá, no, es que eso es como que lo que él hizo antes de ¿Cuál fue el problema que encontró? Antes de, de reportar. ¿Cuál es el problema? Ya no solo, ya no solo poner que... Ajá, ¿cuál fue el problema? Eh, check it everywhere. Ajá. Ajá. O sea, que Ajá. solo Ajá. que revisó todo. Ajá. Sino que también lo reinició, digamos así. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. O sea, lo, lo revisó todo y lo que dijo, disculpe. Y lo reinició. Reinició. Ajá. En inglés, ¿verdad? Obviamente. Uh -huh. right. entonces después pues entonces le quedó la oración al final I don't know I have checked it everywhere and I restart the printer and I am and re restart the printer uh -huh. I restart the printer restart. and it doesn't work but it won't printer. Reprinta, ¿qué dijo? And it doesn't work, ya but sé. it won't. Doesn't, me dijo. Doesn't work. 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 Uh -huh. Work. Work. Doesn't work. Hasta ahí sería, ¿verdad, work. teacher? El, sería con ED al final. De el, but, no, no, no. Porque ¿Verdad que está de más? Ah. Oh. Este, teacher. Eh, hasta, hasta ahí, ¿verdad? El but it, it won't, creo que eso está de más, ¿verdad? But it won't, ¿qué? No, no funciona. Pero ya lo estamos diciendo que él se reinició y no, no trabaja, entonces. Por it was. It doesn't work. Uh -huh. it, does, uh, it doesn't yeah. work, but it won't. No sé si está como redundante. Sí. Ok, entonces sería hasta doesn't work. Yo creo que aquí, no sé, nos hemos perdido. Creo. No. Es que ahí lo que dice es que no va a encender. Ya revisé por todos lados y no va a encender. Eh, sí, esa es en la conversación, pero en la que le hemos puesto aquí es como I don't know, I have checked it everywhere and I restart the printer. Uh -huh. And it doesn't work. Ah, hasta ahí está bien. ¿Verdad que sí? Ok. Sí. Y la otra parte entonces que habían puesto que era Ducks to that, how about the connection? Ajá, sí, eso también. Ducks to that. 
Ajá, ajá. Esa parte de igual. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Ajá, bad. How about the connection, va? Ajá. How about. How. How. How about. That's. That's to bad. That to that, así sería. A ver, hágalo son la parte natural. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's, that's too bad. bad. That's, that's too bad. bad. How that's about bad. the connection? How about the connection? Uh -huh. Ajá. Guardias, chicas. ¿Qué más le pondríamos? La problem de energy. I have had. Mm -hmm. eh, porque tan quiero ver. Es que lo estamos complicando. Vaya, mm. mm. bueno, si ya me si ya me contestaste que me estás saludando, que gracias por llamar, bla, bla bla bla. Te voy a reportar de un solo, no tengo energía en la planta. Sí. Listo, grano. Así es correcto, así de, de fácil. Vaya, acuérdense, la energía no es machine. Chicos, ubíquense en el tema. Electricity is no machine. We reporting a problem with a machine. Machines that you use in your workplace. The, the, the purpose of the activity is that you use the present perfect when reporting what you have done to fix the problem, right? But we're talking about machinery. Okay. Check. It says issues with the equipment, with some equipment in your workplace. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you first, identify the, pro uh, identify the type of equipment. Next, identify the problem. And then uh, after you have the equipment and the problem, you can start working. Or oh, you mention what you have done to, to fix it and you go to the conversation, right? But please try to use English as describing. Okay, ma'am. Entonces podría ser Rocío una la cortadora de láser de las de las de las piezas metálicas. Esa puede estar fallando. O no sé qué máquina. Thank you. 
Sería una, la máquina láser. Sí, eso pudiéramos. ¿Qué tipo de problema puede dar? Que no, que mal no programada, mal programada. Está des, des, descalibrada. Como, re, como recuerde que esa se le, se le, se primero se hace el dibujo para programarla. Uh -huh. ¿Y quién la repara en su empresa? Eh, los mecánicos. ¿Hay alguien ahí o se le llama ah, alguien externo? Si mantenimiento no logra hacerlo, lo hace alguien externo. Ok, va. Entonces, eh, sería eh, la cortadora láser. ¿Cómo se llama la máquina? Así se llama, cortadora láser. Okay. Solo se le llama a la máquina, a la láser, le decimos así, por decirlo así, pero es una máquina algo grande. Uh -huh. Va a comer el tiempo. Ajá. Sería, ¿cómo sería? Láser cúter. Va, uh -huh. démosle, pues aterricemos en algo. Si nos equivocamos, que sea en el proceso y solo corregimos. Entonces, la circuito en machín. La circuito en Ah, ok. Entonces, empieza, eh, yo voy a hacer mantenimiento para, para, para ver, o, o, o cómo, vaya, usted, usted le reportaría. Ajá. Sería... Que los cortes no me están saliendo, como dijera, me está, no me está cortando toda la lámina, por decirlo así. Uh -huh. Pero, ¿cómo lo traducimos? Uh -huh. Not cutting. Not cutting. Cutting complete. Ahí tendría que hacer este help to check in the problem. Program. El programa audio. No, si no lo escuchamos. Todo es programa. Entonces, have to check in a specific program. Eh, wrong. Dos. Sí, dos lleva. Llegó la Miss por ahí. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Hi teacher. Hi, hi. How are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos? Just two. Almost. Podría ser así, ¿no? Si gusta, ordenemos las ideas como las tenemos entonces para dejarle la conversación. Uh -huh. Ok. 
primera sería I want what? What's wrong? Try your computer. With your computer. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. La segunda sería Hi Carlos. I don't know what happened with my computer. No, slowly. My computer is very, very slow. Entonces, se cambió. La... Se cambió. Ajá. Y luego <risa> iría la siguiente que sería Have you downloaded creo que es. any documents? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero, pero que, que, ver, de ahí sería ¿no? ¿no? has the document had only numbers ajá has the document had only numbers yes it yes, has yes it has otra vez ajá y entonces ahí ya le contesta that's that's too that's bad that's too bad that's too uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have verified your computer this week and maybe you need a new a new computer new computer new computer y ahí podemos terminar. He <risa> eh, verificado. Ay, no. Podríamos poner thank you. I hope you can fix the problem this week with my old computer. You see? Yeah. Bueno, no me servía de mucho traer el... ahí al, al licenciado Carlos. ¿Por qué? No, me, no me dio ninguna solución para, para mi compu. La va a ver en la semana. ¿Ah? La, va, la va a revisar en la semana, la va a verificar que es todo. Pero, pero es que la necesito para allá, no para la semana. Van a pero, dar una nueva. Pero vamos a cambiar por otra más vieja. Ah. <risa> nueva, nueva para mí de... <risa> una más bonita le van a dar sí. va a creer vaya y si quiere le puede agregar porque quiere su computadora viejita Because I love you. Dile que le tiene mucho cariño. Ajá. 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 Yes, pero no. I have the, the boy, no, the girlfriend photograph. Póngale algo así, no sé. Pero menos mal que no tenía como. Ajá. Era el trabajo, por eso. Right. Todo sea, todo sea por la empresa. <risa> Hay que practicar, Juan. Yes. yes. <risa> ¿Hasta cuándo le puedo entregar la tarea? Pues, permítame que no le ordené. Entonces, hay Juan ah, el primero. Bien, bien. Okay. We'll see everybody back. Who wants to share? Well, who wants to be the first? All of you will share, right? But who wants to be the first? 
Number one. Number one, Clarissa, Claudia, Isaías, Ibet, Silvia y Silvio. Ok. No sé quién quiere leer conmigo. Usted. Ibet no quiere leer conmigo. Sí, nada más. Va, empiece si vale, quiere. Empiece. Va, empiece. Va. Ok. Yeah. What problem do you have with the printer? I don't have. I check it. I check it everywhere, and I restart the printer, and it doesn't work. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked out the cables are plugged? Plugged. Yes, I have. Plugged. And the technician has yes. checked it. Check it too. Has checked. Yes, has the maintenance team replaced? Yes, they have. The technician solved the problem. It was false in the network cable. Right. It's a good news. Thank you. Now let's see room number three, Ivan, Luis, Enrique, Manuel, and Rossi. No lo terminamos, Miss. Okay, tell me what you have. Vamos a ver. Vamos, Iván, quiero ver. Hola, hola. Go ahead. Hi, teacher. Eh, Perdón, he hecho un solo teacher. manchón. <laughs> Uh -huh. He hecho un solo man, manchón, teacher, no sé si me va a entender. ¿Usted lo va a leer? Ah, ok. <risa> Bye. Right ok. Um. Hello. My D is Maria Ochoa from Aconta. I would like to report a problem with me, printer. What with is my... the problem, Mr. Ochoa? Ah, pero le hago entre los dos, no. <laughs> sí. Para que no se vaya contestando solito. ¿Con, um, quién, con quién quiere leer? Con, pero se lo voy a compartir, Piche, si gusta, pase a otro grupo, se lo voy a mandar al compañero porque solo yo lo escribí. Ah, ok. That was room number three, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Vaya, room number four, Carlos Alfredo, Cecilia, Juan, Karen y Sandra. Ok. Hi Juan, what's in the room while your computer? Hi Carlos, I don't know what's wrong with my computer. It's very slowly. Slowly. I have downloaded some signed documents. Yes, I have. I would. Um, don't lie only documents. Yes, I have. Oh, that, yes, I, it has. That's uh, to add its difficult video. Virus. Ahí sigue usted, Carlos. Sí, I have a very new computer that is in 
maybe you you know computer. Thanks you. I hope you can fix my old computer. Hasta allí. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ivan, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Yeah. Vamos, group number three. I'm much okay. Group number three. Group number three, low. Group number three, se me perdió. Iván, Luis Enrique, Manuel y Rosy. Es que eh, en, <risa> aparte de identificar el problema en la máquina tuvimos otro problema técnico y es que eh, Iván no se le ha dificultado compartir el diálogo que se hizo mm. sino que el chat general de, de allá de WhatsApp que lo envíe. Pues sí. A mandarlo al chat de de, 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 WhatsApp. de WhatsApp. Y ahí lo, 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 des, lo vemos. Bueno. Pues sí, yo creo que ya cayó, ya cayó. Hi. Muy bien. <coughs> Vaya, no démosle. Si... Ok. ¿Comienzas tú o yo? Uh, vamos, dale. Maya, Maya Hernández, it's the department. Hello, Maya. This is uh, Luis Ochoa from uh, accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? Uh, it doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a messenger in the control panel? Uh, yes, yes it is. Say service also. There is a red light on the error button. I would like you uh, to come soon to check it. I sure it will be right I white. Okay. Oh. 
I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Hasta ahí lo dejamos. Ok. Falta. Pero si le damos a las hasta las 11, lo terminamos. Lo terminamos bien. Sí. Le damos hasta las 11, ¿no? Pues sí, tú moro y salgo. Ya. Yeah. el puente de una hora de lunes. Ah, sí. Sí, qué galamba que pudiera. Ya me dejaron picado, teacher. <risa> qué galán que se pudiera, sí, porque el lunes así, como que. A las, a las, a puras penas, vamos a ver si. Ok. Bueno, ahí estamos ya. Ya ven, llegamos hasta las. Yes. Well, let's go to the last attendance. Tell me present, please. Um, hmm. Carlos Alfredo. Presente, Che. Cecilia. Niña Ceci. Cecilia, hello. Se durmió. Vaya que sí. Mire la, la cámara. Dormida, está, ¿verdad? Según uno de la cámara se ve que está dormida. Dormida. Le ganó el sueño. Cecilia. Con el cuello doctor sí se va a levantar ahorita que despierta. Sí, que se durmió. Sí, está dormida, Miss, está dormida. Sí. Y no apagó la cama. Sí, la van a despertar, hombre. Es que digo que estaba bien cansada, dijo. Es viernes, está cansada. Sí, la está bien. Lo importante es que estuvo ahí en clase. Sí, se durmió. Se me dio risa. Voy a hacer una captura. Te la tomé yo. Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Bye. No perdonan. Te doy no. el video de todas maneras. Ah, pues sí. Se inmortalizó sin querer. Sí. Pero nadie se había dado cuenta. Tenía sí, que ser la tía. O sea, que bien. puede no. cantar un gallo a la parte de ella, despierte. No, es que estábamos más preocupados en el diálogo. Le voy a tomar la foto. Le voy a ¿Y llamar. Qué? ¿Y qué se hizo? Usted sí. Nada. Ah, pues no ¿Qué? estaba dormido. Sigamos. Se va a quedar sí, bien, está arriba. So soldado caído. Sí. Pero ahí está, Tiche. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Lo que importa sí. es que ahí está. está. El que persevera alcanza. Ay, Ay no. Clarixa. No, me imagino. Eh, presente, Tiche. No, no, tengan bien, cuidado. Bien, bien. Sí, no, ya mismo. Ya va a grabar. Presente, Tiche. Pongan alarma a las 10 para que te duermen. Las 10 y 5 son. Qué mala onda. Oiga, Luis, ¿qué sonó? Daniel. Bueno, ya despertó. 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 Ya se me durmió Erika también. Cecilia, aparece. Es el mío. Erika, 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 Erika. Es lo que no van a roncar suficiente. Vaya, Cecilia, hoy abrió el micrófono para poder roncar sin que la miren. Hoy sí, va a poder en paz. Dice. Lo bueno es que estaba dormida, pero no tiene el micrófono, no lo escuchamos. Lástima. Ajá, Ajá. el micrófono estaba cerrado. ¿Alguien vio a Erika por aquí? Sí, para que en el primer grupo estuvo con nosotros. Estaba al inicio, teacher, porque cuando yo entré, solo ella estaba, pero ya después ya no la vi. Okay. Yo no la vi. Bueno, ahí le va a salir como si... Se le ha de haber despertado el bebé. Ah. Eh, quiero ver, Isaías. Presente. 
Nada dormida, ¿verdad? Ya vi cómo son. Ya vi. <risa> Iván. Present teacher. Okay. Ivette. Present teacher. Jonathan. 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 No está. Se durmió. Se durmió, Se durmió, se durmió también. Quiero ver. Ah. Vea si tiene que hablar. No, ni está. Ya fue. Vaya, Jorge. Present teacher. Juan Antonio. Present. Karen Leticia. Karen Present Karen. teacher. Present. 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 Present.